Welcome guys to my channel. Today's tutorial is on making my traditional wedding dress. So please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe also. Hi guys. How you doing? Um, today the spirit is, I don't know what to say. Um, it's 12 days to my wedding and I feel like I haven't done it. I have not done as much as I should so um, I'm a little bit not confident and kind of anxious yeah, because I'm not done with my white wedding dress and then I still have the entire tradition I have not even started it as you can see it's still all folded so um, for my trad wear I'll be sewing an actual kit like a proper local bride so this is fabric i'll be using this is an ashoki fabric uh i, I think it, it's very very common to nigeria and some african countries so this is it and then i'm using the color lilac so i'm a fan i'm a fan of purple lilac just anything around um that color lavender and all of that so this is what i'll be using the ashoki fabric and um okay here i'll be using the lace i'll be mixing it with this i'll be using this alone because i don't want it to be just plain and boring i want it to be so being spray and bed to it so my my fiance has been <laughs> i has been saying i love blinks a lot i actually did not realize it but i think somehow i just want something that is always shiny so most of my clothes i mean purchasing for this way now one bling for the other what we can do for the other so here is the you can see the match so well this is the lining i'll be using for it this is my zip i'll be using i think there are so many other things i'm using as well but oh sorry i'm not sure i have them all together right now so here is my lace my bling lace my beautiful bling lace here yeah. This. So this is a different piece. As you can see, this is one piece. This is another. It's just here and there, and a lot of it. So this is another. I think this should be for the gilly. That's the headgear and some tools, and just yeah, just a lot and a lot of it. So um, I'll be starting with this. I'll just quickly go over to cut this. Yep, then when I cut it, I'll just let you guys see. So I did a magic pen. Ta-da! This is what I have. So this is um, the front piece for the lower part of the dress. Yep, then I'll just put this on the back piece and cut it out. Oh, I did magic again. Ta -da! And it appeared. So <laughs> this is the front piece and that is the back piece. The back, back piece I already cut down that um the other end for my um my zip yeah that's my zipper and then this is the front piece they are both on fold this is on fold while this is already divided into two pieces so i'm gonna do the next thing um so um the dress i'll be wearing is more like a wrapper dress yeah it's like a full dress a gown then the down part looks like it's wrapper so um after cutting the front and the back piece for the lower part as you can see this the front piece that was folded into two so i basically just folded it into two as usual then i folded half of the front piece into another half so this is like me folding it into half of half then after folding it out i opened it yep and then folded it twice <coughs> the half part of the front piece i folded it twice so this is it and then i just folded that first piece that's like <clears throat> a quarter of the front piece right now and i folded it and then i placed it right on another fabric and i i just cut it out so this will serve as um this will give the wrapper effect so this is it basically this is it without the other edge um, of the hip so this will give the wrapper effect while this is the full um front piece um so this is my 
front piece this is the lining you can see the dart i've sewn the dart and this and this as well this is the dart and the dart for this um i'll go over to join it to the upper part this is the back piece as well my dart here i will just go over join it to the copper part of the back piece as well yeah so um this is my pattern for the front piece i think somehow i totally forgot i just went straight to cutting and i didn't even start head sewing so somewhere down here i'd already sewed my dart on the back piece so this is the front piece i'm using the princess dart yeah, the princess that for the front and then this is the back i've as well cut out the entire lining okay let me just quickly show you guys ah fan is blowing this thing though so <laughs> here is um my pattern here this both are the lining as you can see and this is the back piece this is the lining for the back piece i would already turned it with um the actual okay that's for the lining i turned the neck you can see with the actual okay for this other one too, I did turn the neck so when I'm sewing it with um, the lining it should be easy and then okay basically the, the colors are a bit contrasting I tried all my best to get this exact color of lilac in the market I couldn't so this was the closest I could get to lilac and so I really have to be very careful so um, the lining does not show and then it looks like it's two different colors I'm using. So basically this is it. So here's my front piece as you can see it's a, a sweetheart neckline and um, the princess that I've joined it together as well as the lining. So this was uh, the exact thing I was talking about about the neckline. So the neckline still has the actual key from inside as well. So this is it and then I've done same for the back. And as well this is the back so everything is all put together i've turned it um the dart is already fixed then i've sewed the by the neckline and then i've turned it inside out so this is it i notched it here after sewing it i notched it and i've turned it i would um give it a good press and it would just stay perfectly in place so this is uh, my front piece and the back piece you can see the back is in two piece i joined them by the shoulder i joined them by the shoulder but i joined it from inside so you hardly see the joining so i did same for both joined them by the shoulder and then i've attached um the lining already to it so this is basically what it looks like so i'll go ahead to attach the lower part of the front and the lower part of the back and i'll come back right now there's something no one ever told me or i never saw it coming is that this fabric sheds a lot i mean this um ashoki fabric like it sheds badly I've had to do a lot of trimmings and it seems it's not even the solution yet and then I'm scared but I'm, I'm very very happy I added like extra close to two and a half inches of um, sewing allowance so at least if it sheds it won't shed and then enter my where I cannot uh, have a sewing allowance anymore so this is how bad it sheds and once I pull any of this off Another one is in line waiting to shed out as well. So this this fabric I would say it looks very strong and oh well, I think I would still say it's delicate. I mean it's so delicate, it sheds so bad, so bad. So I've drained the upper parts and the lower parts, it's coming all together and it's beautiful. So I'll just show you the back. And this is the back as well. Joined it together so I left um, a little space for the slit. I haven't added that. Then I fixed my zip already. If you can't see, what's this color? Okay, here's the zipper. And yeah, this is it. Closer. Fixed my zipper. It's coming all together. Hi guys, good morning. So it's like 11 days to my wedding, seriously. I can't even sleep well anymore. 
I slept like 2 a.m. Um, last night and it is like 6 a.m. I'm up again. <sighs> like, I, the sleep is not really complete because my mind keeps coming to the fact that these clothes are still here. <laughs> uh, the, the lower part of the dress, this is the one that will be giving the wrapper effect. So basically, um, for the wrapper effect, that is the upper part yeah the outer part i don't want it to be plain so i would want to be mixing it with um this lace here i showed you guys earlier so um i will just place it this lace to edge on it and i'll place it and then i'll just show you right now so um this is what i was trying to explain i would want the lace to run um yeah vertically <laughs> on the um actual fee just like so i'm sure you can see the actual fee under it so i will just go and cut it out like this mm -hmm. i want it to run on the actual fee i'll cut it and i'll get back to us so back to the front part i mean you notice i joined the upper part and lower part without um the third piece that will be giving it our wrapper effects so for the wrapper i'm not going to be joining it by the waist and that's why i left it out while i was joining the upper and lower piece so right now yeah i just placed the um, wrapper the other one with the wrapper effect on it so as you can see this is it so while i'm sewing it by the side by this side i would have to join this third piece that's this wrapper effect i would have to join it to it so I'll go back to my machine, I'll join it and get right back. Um, this is what I have. Let me come very close to it. So I have finished um uh, the side of this um wrapper illusion and um you can see I've neatly finished it. So that was what I did. Somehow I'm feeling so sleepy and I'm just struggling to make sense out of this clothes, but I think the sleep is trying to conquer so i may just go take a little nap and um i'll continue so basically this is it and um i actually made um two straps that i'll be using to tie the wrapper you need to wrap and the wrapper always needs um rope to tie so it, it stays together so i made this strap yeah and this so this is in no particular measurement i just guess um the length that could be enough i mean the width that was okay for it so i just cut it out and then going towards the edge of it i made it a bit bigger than it so i can tie my um wrapper and then to still look fine at the end so basically at this um edge or from the 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 wrapper i'll be fixing this on this at this end i'll fix one of these ropes and then i'll fix the other rope by the waist right there so uh, i'll see if i can rush to my machine and do this so Well then, this is my wrap effect like I said. And um, I added this rope to it for the time. So I forgot to add this when I was sewing. I would um, add this shortly to it. So here's the back. The slit and then this. I don't know, somehow I feel like it's still too simple. I really don't know. So I feel like I need to add just something to so i'll just think about that and maybe i'll do something so basically I, are you feeling this so i have the sleeves here this thing has been a lot of head of really this i would attach it pretty soon i have another video and i achieved this sleeve up on my channel so please look it up on the channel and watch it because this sleeve <laughs> is an entire art on its own so please look it up thank you guys this sleeve is giving like it's giving everything it should it's 
So this is it. The inside is the outside. I'm loving it. Like I'm loving, loving it. So I'll go over and attach it to the dress. Yep. Okay, so my sleeve. Yeah, I'll add this. I um, would like to say that as you can it as you can see and I use the pin to hold it down so I'm just really trying to check check it out so this is a whole like what I'm having ah, and then this so basically I'll join this I'll join this I'll put in the all that look by this side and then I'll fix the other hand and pretty much done pretty much done I put this on the wrong side. There is one here, so this other should be here. So I'll just work on that. But basically, so uh, here's what I have. I would have to finish the edges then. Yup, so. Hey to bride. Say hi to the bride. Say hi. So, uh, the sleeves is just exactly like I want it it's everything then um, there is a little bit of adjustment I want on the body the hips is really not um, as exactly as I want so I'll still have to work on that then hi say hi to a rapper so I'll be working a rapper for the wedding <laughs> say hi to a rapper so okay so the time will be something like this and um, I will have finished the edge of it. So I think this basically might be the last bit I will do. Hi, see you on the way down there. Bye. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for all the time you took. And please try and support my channel. Please, please, please. Please, really need to support this girl. Help me subscribe to my channel, like the video to see more interesting videos, and um, please share this video as much as you can. Save it, watch it, keep watching, and just watch and watch and watch. So that's it from here. Thank you. Peace out. Some adjustments here and there you can see the length is okay when i wear my heels it stands well like i love i love it so i made a correction the other look is here so basically it's your body and then i would just the tie okay i can make a bow tie ah, can't do that my chief me to do that so let me just give some strapping. So I love what I see. I love what I look like. So it's still a little bit here and there. I would uh, want to give it a very, very good press, like a very good press. But basically, this is all. I'm not sure I'm touching it again, aside from a good press. Mm -hmm. Thank you.